I was treated for a head and neck cancer in 2013, eight years ago. It was cancer in my tonsils, tongue and throat, oropharyngeal cancer caused by HPV, the human papillomavirus. And we all know that being treated for a head and neck cancer is a tough gig. I had 33 sessions of radiation and weekly chemo. And the one thing I learned that was just so important was to speak up and ask for help. When I found the mask card during my radiation treatment, I talked to my nurse, talked to my radiation oncologist, and I was able to get music, mild sedation, someone to hold my hand while I was clicked in, and I saw a psychologist as well. When I had some pain issues, my radiation oncologist was onto it quick smart. I got help from my dietitian to keep as much weight on as possible, although I did lose 20 kilograms in about six weeks. My speech pathologist was absolutely vital. I was able to get speech back, to get swallowing back, although it took about 12 months uh, for it to be anywhere near normal and to be able to taste food again. What I would say to you is, if you're a patient at Peter McCallum Cancer Centre, don't miss out on the great wellness centre support group for head and neck cancer patients. Uh, with information and mutual conversation, the support group at the wellness centre at Peter Mac is, is just great. So I wish you well for your treatment and your recovery. Make sure you get a good dentist who understands the challenges you're facing and is able to get some information from your multidisciplinary team. And thank you so much to all the team members for all that you do to help us survive. Happy World Head and Neck Cancer Day. It's all about survival, recovery, the best quality of life for as long as possible.